Hey friends, Ed Finnerty here with another drop of wisdom. Some of you are watching the uh, Winter Olympics going on these last few days and um, you probably have seen some of the half pike gold medalists. We have uh, Chloe Kim, 17 year old girl who uh, just did an amazing job winning gold for the, the women's uh, division. And then we have Sean White who, you know, for years have been competing at such a high level and he also captured gold and the half bike. So just an exciting time for the U.S. And uh, I'm more of a Summer Olympics guy, but um, anytime you get to watch the best of the best compete in anything, you know, I like to uh, watch and certainly cheer on our, you know, USA. But I love also hearing this background stories, hear the hours of commitment and the, not just the days, but weeks, but months and years of commitment to their craft, of getting better and practicing and putting in not only hard work, but long hours to their, you know, to their craft and to get better and to not just to get better, but to be the best in the world. And for Chloe Kim and Sean White, you know, they have a gold medal to show for it. So what does that mean for us? So those of us who aren't going to go to the Olympics, those of us who are never, you know, going to hit that level of success, doesn't mean we don't put in the hard work. It doesn't mean we don't persevere. It certainly doesn't mean that we give up early. Now let's take a lesson from them and whatever our goal is, whatever we're striving to to do this year, know that it probably will take, you know, some discipline and, and sacrifice, long hours. That's part of life. But yet, you know, when we do achieve whatever our goal is, whenever we make progress, it's well worth it. So um, as you're enjoying the Olympics this year, uh, Winter Olympics, I hope that you'll take a few of the few moments to listen to some of the background story, the hours of, of dedication they put into uh, achieving the success that they have. Hey, two other announcements. Um, one, I got my first author visit at the Florida Public Library in March, March 1st at 6.30 to 7.30. So, hey, mark it on your calendars. I'd love to have you come out, support me, as well as, you know, my goal is hopefully challenging and inspiring you um, through the book and through the talk of um, doing great things and, help, and challenging your teenager to do great things. Yeah, um, it's going to be a fun time, and uh, please come out and, and support me and, and challenge yourself. It'll be a fun evening, as well as I'm in contract with uh, getting my book on audio tape, so an audio book. So I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I can't wait to give you more information as it progresses. But... Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up, and once again, I appreciate the support. I appreciate the comments and the feedback. And uh, as you're reading the different stories in the book, please feel free to comment and let me know what 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 you're thinking about and how it inspires or challenges you or your teenagers. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.